Trip Wompley talking to you today about the uh, new GK Plex pedal. It's an all-encompassing uh, tone machine for live performance and recording. Now what we have here is four band EQ now pushing pushing the knob down when it goes to one we have a six decibel boost at 60 hertz going to two we have a 12 db boost at 60 hertz now listening to that is you know say here it is flat put it on the p pickup and play in the money zone now a little boost more extreme boost now moving on to the low mid control two preset scoops one at 500 Hertz one at 800 Another one at 700. Check this out. Then you can reduce the high mid control. You can reduce attack when playing with a pick. So, all right. So you take it like this. All right, now. Pretty cool, I think. Now, here on the treble control, you have a boost in presence. So you can do it. <laughs> Thus bringing out more color on the top end to cut through the mix better. Next we have the uh, lower mid-range control. What we're dealing with here is when you press it, you're basically getting a 4 dB cut at 500. Then you can go to an eight decibel cut at 500. And 12 decibel cut at 500. And then, center of it for a nice boost and a change of color. Uh, next up we have the master, basically a master volume and a voicing filter. What's going on here is that when it's just lit up with the white light it's not in effect. All right now when I push it going to number one it's going to emulate the sound of the classic GK 800 RB. Now, going to number two, it's going to imitate the sound of the uh, Fusion 550. Now, from here we go, it's going to imitate the sound of the MB 800. Then, here, on four, imitates the sound of the uh, MB-150. Mm -hmm. 
because you can hear the uh, those of us older guys will hear that upper mid-range peak of the uh, classic MB-150 sound. Now, when we move to five, what happens is the equalization section disengages. So you can use this, use the uh, overdrive, which I'll get to in a minute, and the uh, compressor function as a pedal into a pre-existing amplifier with pre-existing tone controls, of course. It's actually a cool feature. Now, moving on to the overdrive. What, what happens here is, of course, when it's white, it is disengaged. Now, overdrive is triggered by foot switch right there. You're going to hear several modes. One is a mild overdrive, and you can hear it best if I play. bit harder and uh, three a little bit fuzzier four bit fuzzier now four can be cool backing off the tone control here That uh, dirty sounding, I guess, what do you call it? Indie rock kind of bass sound? Very good for that. Now, number five is another degree of fuzz tone. Now, also, it can be effective, say, on a three. You go to the back pickup. A more vintage crackle on the... Uh, using the back pickup to simulate some of the uh, older, like jazz fusion records. It's actually a lot of fun and really cool. Now, moving on to the compressor. Now the compressor is engaged, boom, via that foot switch there. Now I've got the overdrive off. Now we can set the attack here to fast attack, fast release, medium attack, fast release, medium attack, medium release, slower attack, slow release, really slow attack, really slow release. Now Going to here to where we have the threshold setting and the ratio, we start with one. That will basically be a 4.4 to 1 ratio. Then we have 8 to 1. Then we have 12 to 1. Then we have 20 to 1. Then we have all buttons in. Kind of like a ultra squash. What's cool about the overdrive combined with the compressor, especially on my favorite setting, let's go to two. And now the amount of compression is indicated by these LEDs over here. All right, now check this out. So we do that, then we can take the P bass pickup.
some more tasty sounds, you can... Um, get some pretty tasty tapping things. So, also, variations in the sound, kicking in the presence control, a little bit of lows, back off the amount of overdrive, change the uh, compression ratio, boost that up a little bit, and you can get really ripping rock bass sound. And it's got a lot of color in the sound. Also, this would be an outstanding unit for you know, houses of worship in that it really gets the current bass sound that's very popular on a lot of those recordings because it responds very well to the 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 sliding bass sound that a lot of uh, that's uh, in a lot of contemporary worship music today <laughs> yeah. so last but not least we have two quick taps we have a tuner tuner Now if you want to go sharp, your sharp indicator will be right there. That indicates sharp. Now the sharp indicator also will indicate when things are being hyper overdriven as well. And you can see once the tuner is engaged, everything else is the signal is muted. And that's handy. I'm Trip Wansley. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions at all about the um, GK Plex, please call your Sweetwater sales engineer.